we're back to work on this capacitor. This is the last one that I want to take a look at. This cap right here is responsible for filtering the negative bias voltage that's tapped off the horizontal out. Now I'm going to be using one of these old school cap testers because I can well there's a little bit of a problem. I think it's only rated to 100 volts and this only has steps from 25 to 150. I'll try at 25. If it leaks at 25 then we know it's so bad. I might even try at 150. I mean I would think it could withstand a 50% over although that's probably not a very fair test of the thing. A lot of people rely on these kind of digital multimeters for cap testing. Uh, these are good for resistance measurements and they're good for short tests and diodes. Well, they're good for a lot of things. They're not particularly good for capacitor testings on vintage gear. That's primarily because while it can test the value of the cap, you know, the, the, the microfarad value, the actual capacitance of the capacitor, what it can't check is leakage at rated voltage. I mean, it probably has a very small amount of voltage that it uses. So uh, when you're testing caps that are rated in the hundreds of volts, sure it might test fine at very low voltage that this thing uses, but it won't test so fine when using this leakage test. But anyway, what we're gonna do here, what I do use these uh, multimeters for, they're very handy for tracing out paths. So what I'll do is I'll, I know that one side of that capacitor goes to ground, and I'm not sure which side it is, so I'm going to make sure I know which side is connecting to the ground. Because my plan is to, uh, you know, clip to this, cut this connection right here, lift this back, test the cap in place. Now, if this is the ground connection, that means I got to get to the other side of the cap. If that's not the ground connection, then I would just connect my capacitor tester to the ground, because one side of that definitely goes to the ground, and then connect it inside this top lead. So let's see if this is it first. Uh, let's check to make sure. Let's make this make sure this thing's getting the tone. So we'll Okay, so I've got the ground connection, so let's touch this lead here. Oh crud. Okay, so this top one's the ground. So that means the bottom one, which I believe is right here, uh, see if you can see that is where I'll clip to my cap meter. So what I'll do is I'll clip the uh, cap tester to this post here and to this lead here once I clip this and take it out of the circuit. I need to test it out of the circuit otherwise it's not a good leak test. Now the question becomes where does that lead go? I think I know. I'm gonna have to steal some leads here. Oh, that one's not gonna work. There we go. So what I'll do, I'm pretty sure I'm going to go ahead and clip on to the terminal that I think that cap hooks up to, which I think is right here. I'm going to confirm that by going over to where that wire comes off the grid of this output tube, and that looks like this, I don't know if you can see it or not, right here. So let's see. Okay, there we go. Okay, so clearly I can get, I don't know if the camera's going to pick this up where I'm touching or not. I can connect up the cap tester there. That goes to one side of the cap. So what I'm going to do is connect up my cap tester to that. And then the other lead will be, let me steal one of these antenna leads here. will go to the ground because I know well it'll go to this lead once I clip it I have to clip it first to test it and I don't have my diagonal cutters out here so I'll have to come back to this in a minute and continue okay I got my diagonal cutters I have one lead connected to that post which I identified as the bottom of this cap I cut that lead to isolate the cap from the circuit. I'm going to test it for value. Okay, this is a 0.2 cap. So let's see if I can get the I to null. Oh, there we go. 
nice null right there which is at about well it's hard to say on this thing but it's, it looks like about 0.2 on the scale let's see if I can read this one almost two there let me switch to the other scale see if I can get any difference there again right I hate it when it's the readings are on the very edge of the scale but that seems about 0.2 yeah if you take a look it's got between the 0.2 and 0.25 so the value checks and that eye looks nice and neatly opening so I don't think there's gonna be a problem let's go ahead and go to 25 volts I turn to leakage test. The eye should close, fully close, and then reopen. It's a pretty high value cap, it's 0.22, so it'll take a second. There you go. That's a 25 volts. For the heck of it, I'm gonna go to 150, which is over the rating of cap, but we'll see. Still works fine. Okay, so this cap's fine, so I'm not gonna do anything more. I'll get a little pigtail and reconnect that and just call this thing done. I don't like I like to go in there and fiddle around with things that are working. No reason to cut that cap out at test like new. Uh, that's it for this set. Now I can uh, start doing the actual button up and uh, you know run tests in a little bit. Thank you again.